All right, y'all, so in today's rebuilding challenge video, we will be doing the no off-season challenge, as you see by the title and the thumbnail. Now, before y'all get on me in the comment section saying, CSP, you haven't uploaded in four or five days. Why haven't you done that? I mean, there's this thing called Pokemon Go, and it's kind of like taking over my life a little bit. Yesterday being Wednesday for me, but that, that would be two days ago for you guys. I caught Pikachu, so my life is set. Like, I could die happy now. Basically, Pokemon Go has taken over my life, and I've been Pokemon hunting for four straight days, and it's been uh, very intense. So, that is why your boy hasn't uploaded. But, uh, there will be three straight videos out Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for the lack of videos like that's just like making up for the lack of videos so there you guys go and we are doing the no off season challenge and really it's pretty self explanatory i can't do anything in the off season i can't sign free agents i can't trade players i can't draft anybody which i mean when we take a look at our draft picks doesn't really matter too much because we only have two first round picks in the next like four seasons so that doesn't really matter too much but basically we have to do like we just have to make all of our moves here during the season we have three seasons to win it in the last rebuilding challenge i had a pretty kick-ass team but 2k just wasn't really feeling me that day 2k is never really feeling me that day because you know we lost and i usually always lose so let's see what happens we are using the brooklyn nets pretty much the hardest team in the game to do this with in my opinion so let's see what happens and hopefully this challenge can be a success in the first trade of today's video, Jared Jack and Bojan Bogdanovic are going to the Denver Nuggets for Wilson Chandler and Joffrey Laverne. Now, I was going to do a trade right before this one, and it was me trading Brooke Lopez and uh, Thaddeus Young because, you know, their contracts are so large and I'm so used to trading them. And there was one for Bradley Beal. I was like, okay, well, I'll take him, right? And yeah, this was the one that I was going to take. But I came to realize me clearing cap room literally does not matter because I can't sign free agents. But um, I kind of figured that the only free agents I can sign are restricted free agents. I think that's fair enough to where, you know, if I have a player that's going to go play somewhere else and I don't want them to go play somewhere else and they are on my team, then like I can definitely go ahead and just keep them. So I hope y'all don't get too mad that I can only sign restricted free agents, but I can't draft anyone and I can't trade anyone. So basically like what I've come to realize is that I just need guys with long-term contracts. This is the last trade that I will make. Rondé Hollis Jefferson and Thomas Robinson for Chris Middleton and John Henson. John Henson will now be, actually, I said last trade, but this is going to be my last trade, and it is trading away John Henson. Now, I've also come to the realization that um, I can also accept team options. Like, I can only accept team options and I can only resign restricted free agents. Those are my only two exceptions with this no offseason challenge. Ooh, the Timberwolves first round pick might be good next year, but it also really not might be good. And that is the only time you will see me go over Bobon because there's no point in me getting him because he's just going to be gone after this season. I'm just looking for someone with a two-year contract. Like, CJ Watson, that's not bad. Kylo Quinn, no thanks, really. Uh, Bellinelli is looking like the best bet right here. And that is the deal that I'm going to take. So, Mr. Marco Bellinelli and Seth Curry, welcome to Brooklyn. And now I am done making trades. This is going to be a lot more difficult than I think that it will be. And while, you know what, just while I am at it, Mario Chalmers, just kidding. I can't get him because the roster's full. Let's just release Chris McCullough because he wasn't going to get any playing time. Anyway, Mario Chalmers, you are now our new starting point guard because I don't really want... Uh, who was good? Yeah, I don't I don't really want Donald Sloan being our starting point guard So this is what our rotation is looking like here in season one We got Mario Chalmers, Chris Middleton, Wilson Chandler, Thaddeus Young, and Brooke Lopez off the bench We do, we do have Joffrey Laverne, Sean Kilpatrick, Donald Sloan, and then Marco Bellinelli I mean, I'm gonna run a 10-man rotation because I really want Seth Curry to get some minutes I mean, we are we are going to do really really bad this year like I just said previously, this is going to be a lot... Oh, perfect. Sean Kilpatrick torn calf muscle. But this is going to be a lot more difficult than I think that it's going to be. And we somehow beat the Grizzlies. Okay, all right. So as a surprise to everyone watching the video so far, we did not make the playoffs in season one. I mean, I was really surprised. Like, look at this. Look at this super team, man. You got Lopez. You got Middleton. All right, so uh, basically, 
We okay, so the Hornets are 39 and 43. They were the eight seed. We only finished five games behind them. So I guess that's kind of okay, but we did make the playoffs. At least we're not the worst team in the league. I was gonna make trades at the trade deadline, but like all the players that I wanted to get were only on one year deals with no team options. So hopefully we can just do something better next season. This is gonna be really, really difficult. Who's gonna win the NBA championship? And it is the Golden State Warriors. They do win in five games against the Cavaliers. That will be next season's uh, finals matchup, except the Cavs are gonna win in six. So we're here in the team and player option screen of the offseason. And really, I'm going to bring back all three of these guys. I do need them for trade pieces. Seth Curry, Seth Curry, excuse me, Wayne Ellington and Shane Larkin. All three declined. So it is looking like they will not be coming back to the team. Wow, LeBron, I would so love to bring you here. Too bad I can't do it. And we have no qualifying offers. So it is looking like all of these players will not be members of the Brooklyn Nets for season number two. All right, so the first trade of season three, Joffrey Laverne for Tristan Thompson. I mean, Joffrey Laverne, I'm pretty sure, does not have a team option, and he doesn't. So he's gone after this season. I need a backup center. Tristan Thompson is two overall points higher and is signed to a four-year deal. So I like that long-term commitment that he made. Ah, I mean, just taking a look at what we got. This is just... Oh, yeah, by the way, we also signed Mario Chalmers in the offseason. Like, I didn't do anything. I just sim passed it, and he's now back on the team. Uh, let's see what we can get for Wilson Chandler and Marco Bellinelli. Like, part of me really wants to get rid of Brooke Lopez and Thaddeus Young, but, like, they're also on long-term deals, so it's kind of stupid to get rid of both of them. And these trades are absolute garbage. Oh, my God. I'm pretty sure this is like the first huge trade of the video. Brooke Lopez and Thaddeus Young in our 2017 first round pick from Boston for Kemba Walker and DeAndre Jordan. The reason why I am taking this trade is because I want a starting point guard whose name is not Mario Chalmers. Like, no offense to you, but I mean, you're just not really a starting point guard. But now we need a power forward because Willis Reed and Andre Karolenko are our only power forwards on the team. And Boozer is the highest rated guy so i gotta find a good trade for a good power forward but like we can't even get anything oh man okay uh, maybe maybe kavon looney may Ooh, ed davis i could move ed davis to the four because that is his secondary position i think that's the trade that i'm gonna do Ooh, cody zeller actually no they are both on one year deals so yes we will take this one for Ed Davis and then I'll basically just move him to, to the four position. I think that's really it for trades. Uh, just move instead of Cliff Alexander have Ed Davis and that's basically what your starting five is looking like. I will run a nine man rotation because I don't really care about Seth Curry getting any minutes. So we got Kemba Walker, Chris Middleton, Wilson Chandler, Ed Davis at the four and then DeAndre Jordan and then off the bench we got Tristan Thompson, Mario Chalmers, Cliff Alexander, and Marco Bellinelli. So we somehow went 64 and 18 in season number two. I have no idea how we did that. 40 and 12 in the conference, 31 and 10 at home, 33 and 8 on the road, 14 games ahead of the Milwaukee Bucks, and we're somehow the best team in the entire league. I have no idea, really. Like, I don't know how we are this good. LeBron is still with the Cavs, and they went 46 and 36. Wow, all right. Uh, so the Suns are 46 and 36, and they are fourth in the conference here are the eastern and western conference standings i mean i really don't understand how we did so well player stats on the year kevin walker did lead our team in scoring the andre with 11 points with 10 rebounds and two blocks but really like there's nothing else here that that that, that like jumps out at me i mean i do not understand how we did so well and we were taking on the miami heat and no i am not using the updated roster so they do still have Dwayne Wade really they just have the same exact roster can we beat them in this first round series knowing my luck probably not but I mean knowing my luck in season two we will just go ahead and sweep them and like listen I mean I did not cut anything and it's just chilling here on 50 simulated difficulty I don't know how we're doing so well and now we are taking on LeBron James Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love and the rest of the Cleveland Cavaliers squad but they don't have Tristan Thompson we took him from their team so hopefully we can just keep on winning in the postseason and I kind of figured that that would happen and I'm kind of expecting us 
to lose this series. 3-1. Hey, can, can, you know what? Can we just make it 3-2? Okay, good. We make it 3-2. That's all I really care about. Can we win three straight games in this series? Honestly, I don't think so, but I mean, maybe we can. And it's not really looking too promising. We get eliminated in six games by the Cleveland Cavaliers. And they do end up making the NBA Finals. And they do end up winning the NBA Championship in seven games over the Oklahoma City Thunder. The Finals MVP. And I said that I wasn't using the uh, updated rosters. So Kevin Durant was still on the Thunder. That's how they made it. LeBron does win the Finals MVP just like he did in real life. This season, seven games, 23 points, nine rebounds, 11 assists with two steals and two blocks. So now we are going on to season number three and hopefully some good things can happen and we can end season three with a championship victory. So in the off season, the CPU ended up signing Chandler Parsons for me. I don't want him on the team, so I will go ahead and trade him, even though he is a higher overall than Wilson Chandler. I just hope that they take that out of uh, NBA 2K17. Like, they don't have this in the game where your, your team, when you simulate, just signs random players. I really hope that they take that out of the game. It's really stupid and pointless. Like, I don't want Chandler Parsons, but, I mean, he is a higher overall than Wilson Chandler. So, if I can't find a good trade for him... I mean, I will, I will definitely keep him. Rudy Gay, MKG, this one is tempting. This one is really, really tempting. All right, so Chandler Parsons and Bellinelli for MKG and Lance Thomas. I mean, they are, they, they are both on two-year deals, so it's not really all that bad. Uh, MKG has an 87 mid-range. He can't shoot from three whatsoever, and he is also a good defender. Uh, 89 on-ball defensive IQ, 86 pick-and-roll defense IQ, 82 help defense, and then uh, 84 defensive consistency, 90 successful, 90 lateral quickness. I think I'm going to pull the trigger. MKG, welcome to Brooklyn. Now, will I trade Lance Thomas? I have no idea because taking a look at my small forwards, I do have Wilson Chandler, I do have Matt Barnes, I have Lance Thomas, and I got MKG, so I have way too many small forwards let's see what i can get for wilson chandler and lance thomas just show me something good 2k show me a good power forward a good power forward would be really nice i mean there's this one for harrison Barnes and tyler johnson uh dennis smith jr the dude's a beast in 2k but i don't want to really wait on him to progress michael beasley is an option hezonia is really tempting because when i take a look at, at my backup shooting guard it's kyle corver so honestly that one for Hisonia is looking like the best deal so far. Can blaze more, but I mean, I don't necessarily need him a whole lot. I want a shooting guard that can shoot. Hisonia, 86 mid-range, 84 standing shot three, 85 moving mid-range, and 82 moving three. You are now the newest member of the Brooklyn Nets, but Tyson Chandler, I don't want you. So I think I'm uh, only going to make three trades here in season number three and then we're just gonna see how we do tyson chandler what can i get for you someone just give me a power forward um nothing really too crazy is showing up cristiano felicio yeah these trades are kind of trash um you know what let's just go with let's go with brandon bass let's just go with uh brandon bass because i believe i do need a backup four because when i take a look at my power forwards Actually, I didn't really need him, but you know what? It's fine. Here's what our our rotation is looking like. We got Kemba Walker, Chris Middleton, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, Ed Davis, and DeAndre Jordan. And then off the bench, we do have Tristan Thompson, Mario Chalmers, Mario Hazonia, and Cliff Alexander. This is going to be interesting because, like, last year we went, like, what, 64 and 18, and we lost in the second round. But this year, I feel like we do have a much better team. This is the final year. I can make all the trades I want. Hopefully, we can end this year with a championship victory. So at the end of season number three, we did not finish with as great of a record as we did last season, but we are still 58 and 24 first in the Eastern Conference, and we did tie with the Oklahoma City Thunder for the best record in the Western Conference. The Sixers go 52 and 30 with this crazy lineup. Markel Fultz, Danny Green, Terrence Ross, Giles. I'm pretty sure it's Giles. It's no, Giles, no. It's Giles. You know what? I don't know. Tell me in the comment section if it's a hard G or a soft G because I always mess that up. The Cavs, 50 and 32. They are your defending NBA champions. They did add Gerald Green and Mitch McGarry. But really nothing else in the East is too crazy. And then out West, really nothing too crazy other than like the four, the, the first five teams. Excuse me. I mean, Minnesota, like this team always does well in 2K. 
don't really oh, actually I do I do understand how Kemba Walker was once again our higher highest score on the team Chris Middleton and Mario Hazonia putting up basically identical numbers when it comes to points per game really kind of similar numbers when it comes to all of those categories Tristan Thompson okay so right knee day today as long as no one is like hurt for a long time then I'm fine and that is exactly the case so in round one round number one we are taking on the Charlotte Hornets now we did give them Brooke Lopez and Thaddeus Young but Thaddeus Young is no longer on the Charlotte Hornets I mean really I feel like we could beat this team and of course we lose game number one that 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 makes a lot of sense because I usually lose cut no stop it we are not doing this again where we go to another game seven we're not doing this where I go to another game seven I hate playing game sevens more than anything in 2k and I'm pretty sure we just lost pretty sure we just no we didn't oh wait hold on hold on. you know what oh my god two point game one point game are you kidding me all right, so good news. We do have the ball. We have 24 seconds to basically win this game and advance to the second round. Shout out to everyone that is going to say that I did not complete the challenge because I jumped in because I'm a wimp that can't handle losing. DeAndre Jordan, easy one-handed slam. They have no timeouts. I kind of scored a little bit too fast, though, because they have 12 seconds to get a shot off, and you guys know how bad my defense is and really just how bad I am in 2K. Kimmel Walker is guarding Nicholas Batum. I really don't like that. They're giving it to Brooke Lopez. No, you are not making that. Get that out of here. That's how the game ends, and the Brooklyn Nets are on to the second round of the, of the playoffs. And in round number two, we are taking on my favorite team, the fourth-seeded Indiana Pacers. Here's who they have on their team. They got Paul George, Miles Turner, De'Aaron Fox, JaVale. Really nothing too crazy happening. I think we have a great chance to beat this team. But, I mean, if we just went to seven against the Hornets, we're going to get swept by the Pacers. Or 3-1. Okay, I'm fine. 3-2. Let's make it 3-3. Three, three, let's go. We're going to a game seven. We are going to... Oh, DeAndre's hurt. That's why we lost. DeAndre's hurt. What? Yo, the Pacers got Boban. Thank goodness. Thank goodness the Pacers got Boban. All right, well, it's only a bruised left knee day to day. I'm not really too worried, and we just lost. No, we did. No, we did it. We are winning this game. We are winning this game, and we are on to the Eastern Conference Finals. The first time in this video that we are on to the Eastern Conference Finals, and we are taking on the Philadelphia 76ers, and I basically already showed you guys their team, but if you weren't paying attention, here it is right now. The winner of the series takes on either the Oklahoma City Thunder or the Golden State Warriors. Wow, we actually won a game one. That is so surprising, but we're probably going to go to seven games. I mean, just knowing my luck, we're going to go to seven. Three, two, can we win it? Yes, yes, we can. Finally, we don't go to a game seven, and we're taking on the Oklahoma City Thunder. Yay, I love facing this team with Durant and Westbrook and Cantor, and really, that's all they... I mean... The f their first like six players are really solid. Ilya Sova's nice, Christian Wood, but I'm not really too scared about this team. I like our chances. We finish with the same record, but they do hold the tiebreaker. But we win game one on the road. They win game two at home. They take the 2-1 lead and the 3-1 lead. It is not looking good for us. Oh, Chris Middleton's hurt. Oh, yay. Yay, that really makes me very happy. Bruised right hip out over the season, and we probably are going to lose this game. That's just what I'm expecting to do. And we just lost by 12 points in game number five. Well, hey, you know what? At least we won game number one, and at least we didn't go to seven again, but I'd much rather go to seven than lose in five games. All right, so Kevin Durant wins the finals MVP. Still on the thunder. I hate you, Kevin Durant. Sorry, fam. Uh, Richard Jefferson, Tyson Chandler. Really, no one too notable retires. Matt Barnes, David West, uh, Andre Karolenko. Really, no one too crazy. And like I do in every single rebuilding challenge video, I will simulate to a fourth season just to see how we do and to see if everything is great. And hopefully, we can win the championship in season four. Like in the No Trade Finder Challenge, we ended up winning it in season four when I thought that we should have won it in season three. But like in the end, I am very happy with this team. I didn't think that we were going to make it to the NBA Finals in Season 3. I didn't think that we would be the number one seed in back-to-back -back seasons, those being Seasons 2 and 3. So this is what the final championship roster is looking like. We got DeAndre Jordan, Kemba Walker, Chris Middleton, Michael Kidd-Gilchrist, 
Ed Davis, Tristan Thompson, Mario Chalmers, Mario Hezonia, Cliff Alexander, Brandon Bass, Kyle Korver, Ronnie Price, and then Matt Barnes, who did end up retiring. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. Let me know down in the comment section what type of rebuilding challenges you guys want to see and really what kind of videos you want to see from me because 2K is so dead and so boring. So I don't know if you guys want to see these rebuilding challenges anymore or if you want to just see me do throwback games strictly on the channel until 2k17 or madden 17 so just let me know that down in the comment section down below and i will see you guys all next time peace